Hello everyone, and welcome to this commentator letter working video. I've also uploaded a no commentator version if you'd rather watch that, it is linked down in the description. <coughs> Here at the start you see roughly how long it takes, but most of the video will be sped up. And there were 9 hours of recorded footage and probably more than that that wasn't recorded. I'm currently cutting out the pattern I bought and got it from Dark Horse Workshop, link in the description. Anyhow, let's speed this up a bit. So pieces were cut out, I had to tape some pieces together as they were larger than a A4 sheet. Next step is to tape the pattern down onto the leather. I'm placing it to save as much leather as I can. It's quite expensive and I don't want to waste any. Smaller pieces could be taped in the gaps to save even more leather. Then comes the cutting and hole punching. Larger holes for studs and smaller ones with a forked diamond hole punch for sewing. It was after the hole punch that I realized I forgot one strap. Don't worry. It's not the only piece I've got. Then came even more cutting. This was done live on my Twitch channel, also in the description if you want to watch it, by the way. 
a few more of the records clips will be from there as well. Here I'm putting the logic pieces out to kind of see which piece connects to which. Now comes the cleanup. There was quite a lot of tape residue left on the pieces and I had also left the project sitting in a box for a few months so the discoloring will stick around, unfortunately. Well, at least I learned to not leave the tape on leather. Then the thing I was actually supposed to do, bevel. This is the first step in rounding the edges and giving the project a more professional look. Next is the seam marking tool. This thing makes a trench where the thread will lie to make it more flat. And again, looking more professional. I roughly measure how far from the edge the trench will go, then just some force and it guts a channel. It's not on both sides, but I don't do it where leather overlaps, so it adds nothing but more work. Some quick cleanup, and we're on to sanding, which is also step two of rounding edges. Moving on to the final step, which I believe is called burnishing, to really smooth the edges. First you apply wax, in my case beeswax, and then friction heat. Here's a close-up. First the left has had no edge treatment, middle has been beveled, and the right is done. Looks quite fussy still, but I do also work with a third grade leather, so I believe it was a rough spot. Larger pieces takes longer, of course, but it was also the last one. On to sewing. When sewing, I use a thread that is three to four times the length of the seam. The longer the seam, the more thread, of course. I'm sewing with two needles to create a saddle stitch. To do a saddle stitch, you pull out both needles through the same hole and then tighten.
To finish the seam I tie a knot, cut the threads shorter and melt them together. Okay, now with the blunt object that shows they stick and get flat. Hamming the thread makes it even out for a better end result. Time for the rest of the piece that you won't see. It took a while. Next up is to engrave. I have this pattern made off camera that I'm now marking a center point on. Then I mark the center point on the back of the caress. Lining up the centers, taping down the upper part for the pattern. Most of the back side makes it so you can trace a pattern onto leather with a blunt object, in this case a pencil. That is the pattern transfer, time to moisten it again and then start cutting. When using a tool called a swivel knife, it is designed to carve in leather without destroying your wrists or tie your hands. Time for even more moistening before I start stamping. For this piece, I'm just giving it a better edge and a more 3D effect than just cuts. But the portion that was all I had time for on this stream. Surprise, it's done. Time to assemble straps. First thing is to sew the belt loops. Then the buckles. Fasten those onto the front of the cross. But first I have to shave some leather to make a better fit. Yes, I did cut myself doing that. I also made an extra hole by accident, but filling up with a fastener made it look better. The straps are fast in the same way, but onto the back.
The reason I put the buckles in the front is that you won't need any help putting a cross on. The first test fit revealed that it was way too large, luckily I had a lot of extra material I could cut off. Second test fit and it was ready for painting. Or well, staining. Now for staining I go with a clean cotton piece and clean off any excess. Same thing for the front. and then stain the edges, and we're done! While the slideshow plays, I want to mention a few things. Yes, it was cold taking this picture, it was roughly minus 25 degrees Celsius outside. You probably noticed that I also put a dark outline onto the wolf carving to make it more visible. And finally, I want to thank my brother and his wife for lending me their sword, friend for the medieval clothing, and my wife for taking this picture with me out in the cold. 
and of course you for watching. So thank you, and until next time, see ya.